That's their captain. I could shoot their captain. Sacrifice yourself, ending. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Dead Cruise. I booked this cruise to get away from work for all those annoying from all those annoying people I see every day. I don't really like people at all that much, so why not go on vacation on a vacation alone? If I had known what people really are really capable of, I would have stayed home. Press any key to continue. I didn't push a key, I clicked. I didn't mean to click. Uh, open. Oh, it smells. Locked. I wish I could have turned the sensitivity down. Can I close the door now? Nope. Uh, I'll just leave my stuff in this in the suitcase. Eatery. I know this cruise was supposed to be an escape from my everyday life, but I assume if we had a destination as far as I can. I assume that we had a destination. As far as I can tell, we are just going in a straight line towards the open sea. What's supposed to be the, out there a island with a luxury resort? I guess we'll find out once we are there. Maybe I should lower my expectations a bit. Being able to go to, on a cruise for this price is nothing short of a miracle. Would be interesting to know how many people applied for a room on the ship. Maybe I got lucky just... Maybe I got lucky just this one. Um, this word symbol wasn't here before. The coat rack is very shiny. Why is my room so dusty? Can I close the door, please? I don't need that much closet space for one week. Uh, apple. I'm not hungry right now. I mean, I probably wouldn't need an apple that's just sitting on a uh, dress table. It's one of the two. Is there like a desk, a table, a dresser, or something like that? Probably wouldn't eat an apple if she's sitting on it either, but... Why can I... I could hang up my jacket. Okay. Do it. Uh, air conditioner. Can't interact with that. I mean, I probably wouldn't with my door wide open either, so... Uh, an interesting light. Is the light on? Oh, my light switch does nothing. But I guess it's because I have no lights but that in this whole room. We have no choice. What is this? I, I understand what that means. We have no choice. Why is there a spike here? More strange symbols. Blood. Door that don't open. More strange symbols. Blood. Door that don't open. Why is there so many buckets of blood? God. Uh, I'm not gonna blur them with that stuff. Uh, 
to go into my room because they couldn't put it on the outside of my door. Make me have to go into my room to figure out what it is. Okay, it's uh, actually, you know what? I think we'll just take a picture with my phone. I'm not going to try to remember that. Click. Okay. We got the first one. Got the second one. I know this is kind of cheating, but I don't care. I'm not going to try to remember these symbols. If it was numbers, I would do it. But this is symbols. So I'm not going to do it. If I had a notepad, I would have wrote the symbols, but... So, which one is the first one? That would be this. Next would be this. Then this. And this. Did I miss? Oh, oops, I missed one. Well, I have the picture. I didn't scroll over on it. So, it was this. This. Weird six. Other weird six. And then this. There we go. Cheating. Um, I, sh I shut, I shut, I shut. Short. Why? Why would I? The camera. Oh. Okay. What? It's still off. Okay. Now what? That's locked, and the camera probably would spot me. Will it spot me if I got this? No. Okay. Why? What's going on here? I got a key. That door is locked. Use breaker. I'm guessing that would just turn that off. Can't open that. That's boarded up. I I could remove this with some kind of tool. Ah, uh, it's one of those puzzles. Get it. hearing now, but I did that. Hey look, it's normal mop water. Well, it's normal mop and water. That's what I meant to say. Uh. I have no clue what I got keys to. Nope. 
we show them the camera? No, the camera still seems to be on. Open this. Locked. Um. I could, uh, deactivate the system, but I need pliers. Well, why couldn't I pick up the pliers? I was literally up here with the pliers, and it wouldn't let me pick it up. There we go. Unless I just didn't look at it good enough. Also, I would like to know what is happening here. Wait, how is that supposed to work? That right there is a safety concern. You can't get that out of there. Was that just made into the boat like that or something? Because you're supposed to be able to throw those over the edge to keep give people something to float on. The ones on the walls make... Well, oh, that's why there was that random hook there. Ah, oh, I understand why there's a random hook here now. Duh. It's because they couldn't take the one that was stuck under the railing and put it back on the wall. Uh. Uh. Read. To my dear almost publisher, hey, it's Lewis. Do you remember me? I am the guy that wrote that one book that you didn't want to publish. Well, guess what? That book turned into a legendary novel full of surprises, adventure, and a great character and great characters. I even went the extra mile and booked a cruise for some inspiration since my main character takes a similar route right over the Mariana Trench. You should you would know if you would know that if you actually read my book. Sincerely, a soon-to-be best-selling author. I think you're now a blood puddle. I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, is this your book? Writings for the Beginning. Writing for Beginners by... Walter Gilmore. Oh, use laptop. Uh, not right now. That's not my property. I don't think they care. I'm pretty sure they're a puddle of blood right now. So, web. Welcome to the Mariana Onset. Or the Mayor Onset? A luxury cruise, or Luxor, Luxus cruise, are all are almost always too expensive to for everyday worker working class people, and their people are almost exclusively booked by couples, working class people, and are almost exclusively booked by couples. We want to offer the exact opposite. If you are single and don't have much money, don't worry. The Merry Onsets got your back. We're, we offer a highly luxurious one-week cruise that anyone can afford. Our delegates are dele dedicated can't read. Crew is working around the clock to give you the holiday experience you deserve. We are excited and welcome you to our ship. Stop. 
Chapter 8. David was all was always fascinated by the deep sea. He was addicted to the kick when he knew that there was a nothing beneath him but 36,000 feet of water. He had saved the salary for the past year to buy a small motorboat, which he proudly named the Cthulhu. Okay. Don't know why you would name the boat Cthulhu, but I've heard weirder boats. It could have been named Bodie McBoatface. And after he learned that after he learned how to operate it, he packed all his things and booked a flight to go. I'm not sure how to say that. I've probably heard it before, but I've never seen it spelt, most likely. Maybe. Down. A small island near the Mariana Trench. He was very excited and done an don't know what that says is this is hard writing is hard and I even get it writing who the fuck knows right but I can't give up now not after chapter 7 I I need to feel what David feels you can do it Lewis still probably want to name my boat the Cthulhu though I don't think it's a good name for a boat. Maybe like a submarine or something like that, maybe. But a boat? Mm, uh, not really. Especially a, like a motorboat? From no reply at marionset.com to Lewis Martindale at crypt.com Okay, I see why he used Cthulhu as the boat's name now. Dear M Mr. Martindale, or Martindale, Marion Set would like to welcome you to the passenger list of this year's cruise from Tokyo to Papua, Papua New Guinea. Our crew is beyond excited to meet you and assist you around the clock for a wellness experience unlike anything else. Regarding your questions, the cruise is not a scam due to a major due to the majority of our crew being volunteers and the ship itself every sound cut out for a second there. And do the ship ship itself being private property of an executive manager we can afford to offer this once in a lifetime experience for a price of three hundred dollars yeah that's cheap if you have any further questions feel free to reply to this email Mary onset okay hello there I am happy to announce that my boss approved of my paid leave so I am, I can accept your invite. As I am currently writing a novel about a young adventurer like myself, it is a great honor to join a cruise like this, but one detail seems a little fishy to me. I looked up other cruises in the region and all of they all cost like four or five times as much as the one you're offering. I was wondering, is there anything I should know beforehand at all? Sounds a bit too good to be true. Hey, Mom. Uh, so this is from him to his mom. Hey, Mom. I was going, I'm going to be a famous author, and then you can finally be proud of me. I booked a cruise to get in the mindset of my protagonist of my new novel. And I think this experience will be the last missing piece, missing puzzle piece to the, my success as a writer. I will be gone for a week, so maybe next Thursday we should meet up and I can tell you all, I can tell you all about it. Does it sound good? I am excited and 
It's finally happening. Love, Lewis. Okay. Oh, I done read that. I guess to the next door. Oh, there's something in the corner. What? Huh. I'll go back to the other rooms to check for that. To Laura and Alex. Hey there. I hope you are not mad at me for just leaving all of a sudden. Your mom and I needed some space, so I decided to go on a little trip all by myself. I'm sure everything will be fine and we can go on a vacation together as soon as a family just like we did every year maybe you two and mom can even come on this cruise with me next year the food here is simply amazing they have everything you both love and by that i mean everything you two would love it here see you soon He is also blood puddle now. None of the lights work. Because there ain't any in the rooms. What's the point of putting light switches when you don't have any lights anywhere? Nothing back here. Uh. Oh, wait. Can I check this? I sent sir. They're dead, most likely. Ooh, a crowbar. Hey, babe. There. Something else is. All these letters did not make it to the people that they were supposed to go to. Because all these letters literally are still on the boat. <laughs> hey, babe. There is no internet on this damn ship beside it because why would there be right i'm not sure we live in it's not like we live in the 21st century or anything i talked to one of the crew members they said that we could write a letter and they would send it to you via fax or something talking to any of the staff is a bit weird they're all extremely friendly, but not normal people friendly. More like on drugs friendly. They treat me and they treat me and the other passengers like gods. And even kidding, not even kidding, it's creeping me out. To be honest. Well, where's all my service at? The Human Mind by Dr. Cr Dr. Crater. EDU smartphone. Oh, cookie clicker. Why am I doing this? Is there some secret Easter egg or something if I do this? I'll cut back if anything happens while doing this. Well, it didn't really seem to tell me anything or do anything besides tell me to get a life. <laughs> I don't wonder what happens if this number gets bigger than what it is right now. Uh, yeah, I'd say that's probably good. I don't think this is going to do anything besides just tell me to get a life at this point. Well, uh, I guess back, oh, I closed the phone. Back to the actual game. Okay, no internet. Pack things for crews. Tell Mr. Sullivan to accept package, packages while I'm gone. 
give Emily the keys and tell her where the cat food is and what plants to water. Pray that Emily does not forget anything. Don't put charger in suitcase. Put in backpack for the flight. Oh, wait, could I have scrolled? No. Balance. Uh, I'm guessing that's 200,000? No. I'm guessing that's 290. Or not. $209.64. Because uh, that's what makes the most sense. Cause this says it was at. Three hundred dollars. Grandma added three hundred. So went shopping for thirty-three dollars, forty-one dollars for EDB electronics. Grandma gave a hundred and ten dollars. You spent the hundred and ten dollars at the pharmacy. You got five hundred and twelve dollars from that from your job. Uh, you went shopping again. For nineteen dollars, I'm rounding up. Grandma gave you three hundred, and then you spent that three hundred. Okay. Uh, well, that's all the information I got from you. Nothing better. Try to attack me, cause I'll beat it like I'm Gordon Freeman. Ooh, here's a bird. My beloved Richard, I hope your business trip is go is just as restful as my vacation. So far, I know you are not the biggest fan of the mar marine biology, but I am quite pleased with my research so far, and I am excited to share my discoveries with you over a nice cup of tea. Once we're both home again, thank you again for the this beautiful gift. How did you even manage to pay for the cruise like this? I hope you don't use any of your savings. Anyways, I miss you, and I can't wait to see you. Why? Why did you have to make a pun? See you soon, Annie. I fear no man. I have the most powerful weapon in existence. Okay. Right there. My therapist said I should write more in my dream diary, so here we go. I don't know what it is about this ship, but it's giving me the chills. Like something horrible happened here has happened here before. I keep having nightmares, but unlike the ones I have at home the, from time to time, these ones come back. It's funny how we have the instinct to trust people with our lives just because they look like because they look like they know what they're doing. Maybe I'm just reading into this feeling too much. After all, or not after all, although over the years I have learned to trust my gut, usually it's right about those kinds of things, but we're out on the middle of the Pacific Ocean with nowhere to go, so... I will get, I will have to, I will just have to endure this cruise for the remainder of this week. I am so happy to see my husband again soon and not feel like this anxiety, not feel this anxiety anymore. Unusual being on a boat does, usually being on a boat does not affect me. Don't know why the stuff cut out again. The sea should not cut out, not affect me, but this time it's different. I don't know why the crowbar jerks like that. Why is Mike? I've noticed when I play some games, the camera does weird jerky motions like this. I don't know if it's my mouse. I shouldn't search around other people's stuff. That's not my property. I think my mouse might be broken or something, and that's why that keeps happening. Probably should change my mouse.
I fear no man. I have the most powerful. Well, I no longer have the most powerful weapon. I fear everyone now. Read. I told you to keep your keys in your own room. Do you want anyone to get suspicious? I even saw one of the keys lying around on the second deck. Take care of that immediately. Yeah, this. I swear I heard something. I wonder what they keep in there. Okay, yeah. This is some Cthulhu cult or something, right? Because I. Th is it my mass? Are you the problem, mouse? I have another mouse around here somewhere. I don't feel like getting it right now. But isn't that like a Cthulhu symbol or something? Because I don't think it's a demonic symbol. I think it's the Cthulhu symbol for something. Well, actually, I think it's literally Cthulhu. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, what is that? I used uh, Google. I took a picture of it, and it says it's the Necronomicon thing. It's like a Necronomicon symbol or something. Michael, Sandrick, uh, so that's me. Status unresolved. Age 30. Lewis, okay... I don't like that I'm hearing stuff behind me, so I'm going to stand over here and read it. Lewis, uh, Martindale, Martindale, don't know why I keep struggling to say that. 41, immobilized. Todd Bloom, immobilized. Well, Todd Bloom, age 35, immobilized. Lena Thorson. 26, immobilized, and Colin, 50, immobilized. I'm unresolved. Dang it. So that's like a Necronomicon type symbol or something? Not it didn't, when I searched it up, it didn't really say what it was for. I, actually, I could probably, like, see what it actually is. Translate? No, I don't want translate. Yeah, it's like, it's like a symbol for witchcraft or something. Hey there, Mom. I finally found a job. I will be working from six months on a for six months on a cruise ship. How awesome is that? We will be making money and traveling the world at the same time. I won't be home for half a year, obviously, but my. New Chief said the work we'll be doing is very important and that there is there are only a handful of people capable of doing my job. All of this is so exciting. I can't wait to come home and tell you about it. 
Love you very much. See you soon, Toby. Is Toby one of the people that was resolved? Wait, was Toby on the list? I don't remember. Walk back over here. This is where the list was, right? Was Toby on it? No. Todd. Sounds like Toby's okay. I don't think he knew what he's getting himself into. I mean. Aha! I got another weapon! It's not as powerful as the crowbar, but it will still work. There's nothing else in here. I can't pause the game or anything to see if it's like my sensitivity or something like that. What about this door? It's still locked. Yep. Down the stairs with my board. Hey, there's a paddle. Lock. Why was everyone else immobilized and resolved with and all that kind of stuff but me? out in the bathroom or something like that when uh, all this stuff went down. What did I get a key to? I got a key to something. Did I pick up the key? Picked up the key, right? Maybe there's something. I, well, I picked up the key and I opened that one room. And I went in and got the paddle. Didn't do anything after that. I just went in the room and got the paddle, didn't I? There was probably a key in that room somewhere. I was too concerned about ooh I have new weapon still don't like when that uh, water sound cuts out that does not make me feel at ease I guess you could say unless it's like uh, say those stores lockers that's in here no uh, must have missed something Wonder what's in those boxes? Freezers? Crates? Oh, that's what I missed. Yeah, I missed a key. Oh, I saw a big paddle on the bed, went and got a big paddle and missed the key. Can't open that. And Gotta be the door that I spawned next to, I guess. Where was I when all this stuff happened? Or did I just get on the boat now and not realize that this whole part of the boat was covered in blood? What is my involvement in all this? I get a key. Which room was it? Not this one. No, it wasn't this one. What did I get a key to then? Huh? I picked up a key. 
I went to the doors. Was there a door upstairs that I missed and didn't check? So I checked the one at the end of the hall over there. I checked that one. Both of those say that they're locked. Unless it was like a key to the lockers, that's probably what it was. Yeah, that's still... So, I guess I gotta go over here. To the lockers, maybe? Is that what I need to do? No. Uh... Hmm. in there. I did find a weird cat statue back towards the beginning of the game when I entered that one room. Unless I can go through there. I just didn't. Oh, I didn't try to go through there. Probably what I needed the paddle for, wasn't it? Yep. Ooh, chest. What's with all these little mini games? Oh, another cat statue. Yeah. Probably should read the important stuff. Dear Mastermind Eric, honestly, teaching you chess is a bit trying, so I have to set up a few exercises for you. At least then I don't have to watch you fail over and over again. But hey, if you get it right, there is a price. Cool. Right? All you have to do... All you have to do is tell me which position the knight cannot reach. In three moves, I don't confuse the knight, which... The knight is actually the hor a horse. And... Don't be confused, the knight is actually a horse. Because I know how much of a genius you are. I even marked the right piece. Good luck, idiot. Okay. What is this? Creed. This some sort of map? I don't understand. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see what I can do here. Uh, nope. Huh. I guess I had one choice. Oh well. A cat? Oh, I wonder if I get all the cat statues if I can enter there. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. Well, come on. I was hiding behind the boxes. I could crouch it, be nice. Okay, I, don't, I still have the cat statue. Or figurine, whatever you want to call it. Now what? Did I try to approach him or... Boy. I can't do that. Oh. There's a key. 
But now I sneak back around, right? That way, this way, here, that way. Okay, now I can leave. Oh, I didn't even activate the light. It just turned back on by itself. The cat? No, I don't have them all, I guess. Oh, look. Look. Missed one. Wonder if I got them all now. Are you open now? No. Hmm. Man, I'd say that probably would give me a cat thing, and I probably can't open the cat door now. I didn't know that clicking that would do anything. I was just clicking it. I just decided. I was trying to click the thing, and then I clicked uh, one of the squares to just see what would happen, and then, well, I didn't think. I just clicked. So, is this the door that'll open? Because the other two still say well, most likely. Oh, there's a sleeping person. Uh, offer help ending? Okay. Read. I got a gun. I can't do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. We do this purely to keep something horrible from happening. Our ancestors knew they had to do it, and so do we. Trust me, if there was another way, nobody would get hurt get hurt like this but sometimes a sacrifice is necessary for the greater good i'm sorry for the people on this ship we must try our best to make sure their their last days best to make their try our best to make their last days their best the best they can be That's their captain. I could shoot their captain. Sacrifice yourself, ending. About? Death to the captain! Oh. That was their captain. Well. I'm out of bullets now. I probably shouldn't have done that. Lock. Lock. You decided to believe the cult and sacrifice yourself. You knew you will never know if the ritual was completed correctly, but you hope that the people on the mainland are now safe. You decided to take revenge and shoot the cult leader. You cl Oh, man. Yeah, I'd say that stupid chess thing would have given me the last one. Come on. Oh. Do I want to go back and try to get that? Or... Hmm. Well... If I go back, I'll put it in here. But if I don't, well, that's that. If you like this, like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, my name is Enderhost, and I'll see you in the next one.